The following video will show a lingual phrenectomy. Now, if you haven't done a lingual phrenectomy in quite a while or have never done one, just remember to take it slow. Start just below the tip of the tongue. Allow the laser to start severing the fibers. Put a little tension on it and you'll stretch that out. Have the patient stick the tongue out to see when you complete it. Now, you may also have to release fibers from the mandible. It's done in the same manner and just after you do it, have the patient stick the tongue out and that should be finished. In this clinical video we're going to do a lingual phrenectomy. The patient is a nine-year-old boy that is uh, quite severely tongue-tied as you can see. Uh, it's very difficult for him to even place his tongue outside over his lip. We're applying a stronger topical here and we're going to start at about 0.8 watts. Now we're using a Veronobis uh, retraction device uh, with a little incision or, or cut through the middle of it to hold the tongue back. Uh, you can see it's sort of a slow go at first. That's okay. You know, this whole procedure is going to take about three minutes. So you can see we're right below the tip of the tongue and the tissue starting to separate out. Now as it continues to separate and we'll create a little tension to get a little tug on it, you'll see more and more of the fibers exposed. As the fibers are exposed, we'll, we'll sever those fibers and that will increase the uh, opening. As you can see, it's continuing to open up so slow. We could turn it up. We're at about 0.8 watts. Uh, that's a good place to start. Uh, we might go to one watt. But as you can see, we're, we're opening that up. We're getting that, that uh, diamond shape. A little suction there. We're going to take a little more of the fibers out, but we've already loosened it. And, and he's able to stick his tongue out quite a bit further already. There's a few more of the fibers we're cutting. It's brushing the tip across those fibers. They're a little uh, uh, tough sometimes to cut, so take your time. Nice slow motion. See it opening up even further and further. We're not going into the floor of the mouth. There's no danger of, of any um, interaction with blood vessels. Now this patient also had an attachment right to the mandible. Uh, this is a little more fibrous. We turn that up a little higher, uh, one watt. You can see we're getting a little more uh, uh, faster tissue removal. Uh, don't forget to uh, uh, wipe that tissue that builds up on the tip. Uh, it'll just make for cleaner cutting when you do do that. And as we continue to do that, you can see it's opening up quite a bit and that's going to release that, that that uh, uh, attachment right to the mandible. So we have two procedures in this case and now you can see he's able to stick his tongue out quite extensively uh, compared to where we started with. So this again, is a, it's about a three minute procedure. We've gone from he couldn't get his tongue even over his lip to now uh, quite, quite good extension. Here's just another angle view of that. Patient was quite happy, mom was quite happy made for a great little uh, procedure. Post-op should be maybe warm salt water and a Tylenol or two.